Good morning and welcome to Church Beyond Walls. We are excited that you decided to join us this morning as we worship the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Please go with us as we just lift up holy hands and, and lift up our hearts and worship. 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 This morning we're going to start off with a word of prayer and we'll move on to our scripture. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. We thank you for another opportunity to worship your holy name. We ask that you would settle here in this place, in our hearts, oh God, as we worship you, as we honor you, as we sing to your glory and to your honor. Bless our pastor as he preaches your word. Fill him with your precious Holy Spirit. Fall fresh on him, Spirit of the living God. We thank you for our praise team. We thank you for Church Beyond Walls. We ask that you would use this church as you see fit, oh God. Bless those in social, over social media, oh God, that may be watching. Lord God, those that are here in the building that are worshiping with us. Lord God, we just thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture reading for this morning is Psalm 135, coming from the NLT version of the Bible. We'll do verses 1 and 2. It says, praise the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Praise him, you who serve the Lord. You who serve in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God. At Psalm 135, 1 and 2. Thank the Lord for his marvelous and divine word. We want to encourage you this morning that you do not have to worry, nor do you have to fear. Because God is on the throne. He is in control. We just have to trust him.
in a pit. Begin to call on God. Begin to worship him. Begin to magnify him. He'll lift you up out every time. Right. I can't stop, can't stop. praising. I won't stop. I won't stop. The, the, there was a song that was written, no, I'll never <laughs> stop praising the Lord. He, he's been too good. He's, he's been too awesome, just too <laughs> wonderful. He brought us out. Sicknesses, COVID brought us out. Uh, accidents brought us out. Bills that needed to be paid. He made a way, some type of way. And listen, he'll do it again and again and again. My God is a supplier of every last need. I can't stop, can't stop. praising the name of Jesus. That's why David says, I will bless the Lord. I will 
magnify the Lord. Then he says, come and do it with me, but I already did it by myself. The song says, I got to praise it. And I, I, I got to get it out. I, I got to let it out because he's been so, so, so very, very good. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. I will bless him. I will glorify him. Thank God for your presence on today. We started a series last week called You Are More Than Enough. You are more than enough. Our God is more than enough. The Bible says that the grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. He even sends his word and he heals us, says that we can build on his word. His, his word is like honey out of the rock. It, 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 God's word is loaded. <laughs> loaded with prophetic promises, loaded with deliverance, loaded with freedom, and you shall know the truth, and the truth will unlock you, will release you. So God, we thank you for your word that never fades, it never fails, it is fully equipped to handle every problem that we face. Spirit of the Almighty God, would you come into our sanctuary, open up our minds, open up our hearts, and cause us to receive a right now word, a relevant word, that we can run through troops and leap over walls. We thank you for it, and it is in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. You want to read the text one more time. I want to read the text one more time. And we'll be coming from Psalms 23. And if you don't mind, I'll be reading this from the New Living Translation. I have learned to uh, love, I have developed a love for the New Living Translation. Uh, I've developed a love uh, for it. The Bible says this in Psalms 23 that the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not... <coughs> Want is what King James says, but here he says, I have all that I need. He lets me, Sister Paris, rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. Watch this, he renews my strength. He guides me along the right path, bringing honor to his name. He does it for his own name's sake. He restoreth my soul. Verse 4 says, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. No fear. I, I, I'm not going to be afraid because you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort and correct me. Did you hear what I said? Your rod is used for it's it's a multiple it's a it has a multiple uh multiple use multi purpose. He said it protects me. It, 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 it fights off my enemy and it and it corrects me. Uh, uh, you prepare a feast for me, not away from my enemies, but in the very presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. Uh huh. My cup overflows with blessings. I like that. Surely, surely, surely. The text says it's a guaranteed fact that God's goodness and God's unfailing love it will pursue me. Your love never fails. It never runs out. It, it chases me down. Uh, 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 it, it kicks down walls. It, 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 it's your overwhelming love. It, it, it does not fail uh, uh, all the days of my life. So while I'm here, he's here with me and he will escort me away from here and I will live in the presence of the Lord or in the house of the Lord forever, forever, forever. And the songwriter says forever is a long time. My God, help me today. Forever is a long time. And watch this here. God said, that's how long I love you. 
I don't know about you, but oh, to be loved by him. I, I, to know that he loves me, he always has. And he always, not when I'm up, not when I'm doing well, but when I'm down in the dump, he still loves me. And he's not ashamed of me. I, I, I don't need you to be ashamed of me because I make mistakes. Not, not that with the hold up, you do too. You, you, you get discouraged. You feel defeated. You feel overwhelmed. But, but my good shepherd <laughs> is all that I need. He's more, he's more than enough. We want, to, we want to continue to walk this series out. We, we mentioned last week that there are some ways about the sheep uh, that can be uh, cumbersome to your average shepherd. But we found out in John 10 that our shepherd is not a hireling. He, he, he submitted to the sheep. He, he lives his life. He, he, he shares his life with the sheep. He gives up his life for the sheep, and then he, watch this here, he puts his life into the sheep. He, he shares his life with the sheep, he sacrifices his life for the sheep, and he puts his very life into the sheep. It's a he and me thing. And we said this, that uh, the Lord is my shepherd. We said sheep wander all. Uh, the song, the hymn that said, prone to wander prone to leave the God I fear. But, but listen, baby, when you wander off, you don't ever get too far and lost where the shepherd doesn't know where you are at. He knows what I'm doing. He knows what I'm thinking. He knows what I'm dealing with. He knows what I cannot tell my very wife. God says, I know, I see, I'm aware, and I got you covered. I'm going to work it out. And, and, we, and matter of fact, the songwriter says, he's already worked it out. My wife just told me, she's the accountant for our home, and she just told me that our gas bill has risen up 137 times. I said 100, 137 times. So, so, so now to, get, to stay warm, the bill it has, it has went from what we call 75 to whatever 137 times more. Uh, so now my, my, my gas bill is like a, a, a real nice car note for a real nice vehicle. But, but my good shepherd is aware of that already. And the Bible says that when you call me, I have already made a way. Matter of fact, he says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. So, 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 so listen, I need my shepherd. I, I, not only do I need him, but I, I want my shepherd. I, I've got to have him. And then every now and then, my shepherd whispers in my ear and says, I'm, I'm right there with you. He sends a, a friend along the way. He sends encouragement. So sheep wander off. We said, number two, the sheep get weary. But the Bible says, don't be weary in well-doing. Uh, let us be honest. We get weary. We get worn out. We get tired. But, but, but my good shepherd restore it, my soul. I love that about him. Uh, 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 and then Galatians 6 and 9 says, don't be weary in well-doing. We have need of patience that after we've done the will of God, we will receive the promise. We've got to learn how to wait on the Lord. The Bible says, they that wait on the Lord shall find new strength. They'll be able to run and not be weary. We, 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 we got to slow down and wait. If, if the shepherd is the leader, Sister Paris, if the shepherd is my protector, then my, what is my job? To wait on the next command, to, 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 to spend time with him and, and then to worship him uh, while he's doing what he's doing and knowing that he will uh, bring me out after a while, he, he will make a way. He's done it before. He did it for my grandmother. He's doing it for my mother. He, he is doing it for my father, my mother and father-in-law. He is working it out right now, even though I cannot see him. He's always 
working. So my job is to wait on him. My job is to worship him. And, and listen, because watch this here, I'm a win with him because he knows the way that I take. He knows me. So, so I get weak. And then we left off with this, that my the, the sheep's total well-being lies in the hands of the good shepherd. My ups, my, pro, my, my promotion, my, my development, is my, my, my very life is in his hands. Jeremiah 29, 11, I said the sheep's well-being, Sister Paris, lies solely in the hands of my good shepherd. He says, I know the thoughts that I have for you. Uh, the thoughts that I think toward you. And one translation said, I still know. And listen, watch this here. Why does God still know? Because we've got the reminder that he has a plan. Even though it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Even though everything is saying no. But I said, but I found out if I can get one yes, it cancels. The right yes can cancel. Watch this here. From the right person can cancel every no. If God said it, I believe it. And it's a done daughter. It's a, it's a done. What did the Lord say? Well, who? report will you believe? Uh, I know that their report is convincing. I, I know that the, what the doctor said, but what did God say? Uh, we were too, we're too worried about ones that don't really have no power. Uh -huh, but my very, my life's well-being, my, my, my everything that, I, that, that whatever it be, uh, hopes and dreams, the road I'm to take, the vision, the ministry, it is bundled up and watched as in the hands of the good shepherd. Now, now watch the text. Psalms 95, 6 and 7 says, Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the, the sheep of his pasture, and listen, and the sheep of his hand. I like that, his hand. Watch this here, Sister Paris. It was my shepherd's hands, my good shepherd's hands that scooped the dirt out of the ground and made a clay model. Uh, a skillful sculpture, a wonderfully and fearfully made man, uh, a wonderful sculpture, a fearfully made woman, boy or girl, breathing his life-giving breath into that shell, creating a living soul. It was my good shepherd, it was my shepherd's hand that handmade me on purpose for his purposes. I'm unique by design. There, there's, listen, if I had a twin, even though we look like, look, look, look like, but we would still be fraternal because my print is different. My purpose is different. I'm unique by design. I've been made for a purpose. Oh, there's things only I can do. Only the way I say it. I have a platform. I have shoes to walk in. I have a purpose. And God called me, hand made me, my shepherd hand made me uh, cut by a cloth that never to be repeated again. I'm the only one of me in the entire universe from eternity past to eternity forward. I, listen, he handmade me. So my very purpose, my shepherd's hands handmade me on purpose. It was my shepherd's hands that were pierced for me. Zechariah 13 and 6 says, and one shall say unto him, what are those wounds in thine hand? Then he shall answer, with which I was wounded in the house of a friend. My shepherd has holes in his hands. He, he was pierced for my rebellion. He was crushed for my iniquity. The Bible says, by his stripes I am healed. Uh, listen, I'm healed today. Uh, uh, listen, I'm healed. I'm healed. I'm he I may not look like I'm healed, but I'm healed. I'm, I'm free. I'm, 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 listen, I'm healed by his stripes. It was my shepherd's hands that pulls me up out of the pit of despair, out of the pit of nowhere. Sometimes we can get on a road and get in a ditch where it seems like there's no way out. Uh, Psalms 40, 1 through 3 says, I patiently waited. Uh, for the Lord, for you to hear my prayer, you listened him and pulled me from a lonely pit, uh, full of mud. I, I, the more I ran, the deeper I got, but you pulled me out of that pit. You put a new song in my mouth and you caused me to praise you and others will see it 
and be glad. It was my shepherd's hand of favor. Uh, listen, it, 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 his hands fight for me. His, his hands shake me. His hands work on me. But it was my shepherd's hand of favor that is on me. Ezra, Ezra excuse me, 7 and 6 says, and he says, because the Lord his God was helping him. Ezra received everything he asked for from the king because the Lord's gracious hand was on him. Watch this here, Genesis 39, 1 through 2. When Joseph was taken to Egypt by the Ishmaelite traders, he was purchased by Potiphar, an Egyptian officer. Potiphar was captain of the guard for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. Potiphar noticed this and realized that the Lord was with Joseph, giving him success in everything he did. This pleased Potiphar, so he soon made Joseph his personal attendant. He put him in charge of his entire household and everything he owned. From the day Joseph was put in charge of his master's household and property, the Lord began to bless Potiphar's house for Joseph's sake. And Potiphar had no worries because the good shepherd's hand of grace was on him. So my good shepherd's hand of grace is on me. It was my shepherd's hands that lifted up my hung down head. Let's be honest. We have good days and, and we have bad days. We have difficult day. Some days I just want to stay in the bed. I don't feel like getting up. Life seems to not go anywhere too fast and my head is hung down. Uh, but there's a song that says, why are you going to just stand there with your big head hanging down? But, but my shepherd's hands lifted up my hung down head. Psalms 3 and 3 says, but you, O Lord, are a shield for me. You are the glory and the lifter up of my head. I don't know about you, but some days are difficult and nobody seems to understand. But my shepherd lifts up my head. Uh, the Bible talks about in 1 Kings 19, 1 through 14. You can read the text for yourself. But the Bible says that, that, that Elijah had killed all of these prophets of Baal and God had used him very greatly. But, but then uh, Ahab went and told his wife Jezebel. Ahab was scared of his wife. He gave the report and said, told all that was done. And she told, sent a message to Elijah and said, if tomorrow I don't get kill you, I don't execute you, uh, may the gods do to me what you did to those prophets. And the Bible says that Elijah was afraid, Elijah was discouraged, and Elijah ran. Uh -huh. And then, and then I said, he lifts up my hung down here. Elijah leaves his servant and he goes over in this far place in the wilderness and the angel of the Lord met him there, had baked him a cake and, and made him a cold glass of water. And he says, Elijah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? We get discouraged. We lose hope. But my God won't let me stay in the pit of despair. My shepherd lifts up my hung down head. Are you hearing me? He lifts up my hung down here. And then it was my shepherd's hands that held me up, held me down. You know, we, we, we need somebody. You know, I thank God for my wife because when I couldn't hold it down, uh, she held it down. Looking beyond my faults and now I'm holding her down. I said, baby, I got you. And then I go to work and show her that I got you. But my God held me down. He hold, The Bible says in Deuteronomy 33 and 27, the eternal God is my refuge and his everlasting arms are under you. He drives out the enemy before me and says, you go destroy them. I drive them out and you conquer your enemy. Why did he help me down? He hooked me up. He's got my back. If God is for me, he's more than the world against me. Listen, I, I have no reason to fear. Why am I worried? Why am I discouraged? I've got God. I've got the shepherd of the living. My, my shepherd who's the good shepherd is here. He's got my back. Uh -huh. he, my shepherd fights for me. He fights for me. Listen, I said that the shepherd is always aware 
of my whereabouts. He's actively involved in my life and he's alert. Uh, let, me, let me talk about this real quick. We said that the Lord, the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. No, no, no. Watch the text. Watch the text. Watch the text. This is an attribute that he takes on never to take off. And listen, Jesus, watch it, the word became flesh. But, but, but listen, so he is the eternal God that takes on flesh and he will forever be the God man. My, 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 no, 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 there's a connection here. The God takes on flesh. He's the God man. The God man is my shepherd. Uh, watch this here. Now the text says this, that the Lord, the, the, the word Lord is the English translation of the great Old Testament personal name for God. First disclosed to Moses at the burning bush. Watch this here. Uh, he says, he says in uh, uh, Deuteronomy, excuse me, Exodus 6, that they did not know me. They knew me as El Shaddai, which means I'm all powerful. But but I'm a show, uh, he said, but they don't know me by my personal name. I am what I am. See, we, we know that God is all powerful, Sister Mo. Brother Sam, but God says I'm the personal God. I want to know you. I want you to know. Paul says I want to know him. Not about him. It's nice to read about, but I want to know my shepherd from my, he said I want to know him in the fellowship of his suffering. I want to be a, I want to, I want to talk with them. I want to share my life with them. There's something I told the Lord about myself early this morning that I was afraid to tell him, but he already knew. I said, God, I need help in this area. I told my good shepherd. He listen, he's all powerful, but he says, I want to, I want you to know me personally. He is my Lord. He is my life. So 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 the, so, so the, the text in Exodus 3 says that he is Yahweh. Yahweh. It is a, it, it, listen, and it, it has been repeated more than 4,000 times in the pages of the Old Testament. The name literally means I am who I am. It is an inexhaustible name. Yeah, like its bearer, God is inexhaustible. Watch this. It, chiefly, it refers to God's timelessness on the one hand and to his self-sufficiency on the other. Self-sufficiency self means that God needs nothing. Watch me here. God needs nothing. He needs no wisdom from anyone else. He has all wisdom in himself. He needs no power. He is all powerful. He does not need to be worshipped or helped or served, nor is he accountable to anyone. He answers only to himself. Watch this here. Now, timelessness means that God is always the same in these eternal traits or attributes. He was like this yesterday. Help me, Holy Ghost. He will be like this tomorrow. He will be unchanged and unchangeable forever. He is the great I am. Hebrews 13 and 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. He is the same today and he is the same to, to, for tomorrow, forever. And listen, listen, Jesus, in other words, what we find here, it says, Jesus, I needed you yesterday. Uh -huh. As I reflect over yesterday and the last quarter of this past year, I can see how you worked it out for me. You keep on working it out for me. And then not only did I do I, because, because we can't see the hand of God clear until we take time to look back. I was at a place I didn't know where to go, but you guided me through it. I, I didn't know what to think, but, but you caused my... Sometimes we can be so overwhelmed, we don't even think right. But, but, but he's the wisdom of God to us. And so I need you today. Actually, I need you now. I need you not, not, not another moment. I need you at this moment. Father, I stretch my hand. I know how to help. I know if you don't help me, I'm lost. I'm, I'm failing. Now listen, without you, I am nothing. Uh-huh. So, so, so I need you today. Listen, my need may change. Help me, Holy Ghost. My situation may change. I may be scared. I may be startled. I may get sick, but thou carest for me, God. Listen, listen, don't, don't, don't. I know you. I, listen, I know you got a great God. I, I got him too. But sometimes I take my eyes off of him and I get worried. I get worn. I get sad. I get, listen, I, some things 
start on me. And that's why I, I've got to bless him. I, I've got to refocus. I, I, the Bible says don't be anxious, but let's be honest. If the Bible says don't be anxious for nothing, it means that I've been anxious. If it tells me not to worry, I've been worrying. If it tells me not to, not to fall, I've been falling. But the good shepherd got me covered. Are you hearing me? Listen, and then he's saying that you have been right there in it with me all the time. I like this. <laughs> I may not have always recognized you being there with me all the time or have realized it, but you've been right there. I like that about God because you can help me out of trouble, but it's one thing when you are in the trouble with me. Uh, uh, Daniel 3, 24 through 26, the Bible says suddenly King Nebuchadnezzar jumped up in alarm and said, didn't we throw three men bound hand and feet into the fire? They said, you're right, King, we did it because we were the ones that did it. But he says, but look, he said, I see four men walking around, watch this here, freely in the fire, completely unharmed. And the fourth man looks like the son of God. And I'm here to declare and to decree that the fourth man is the good shepherd. Uh, the one that died. The one that made me. The one that favors me. Watch this here. He, listen, he says, I was with you when you was out of it. And I'm going to be with you in it. My God today. Daniel 6, 21 through 23 says, my God sent his angel and locked the mouths of the lions. Mark 4, 38, when Jesus was asleep on the ship, he says, Master, don't you care? But the master was in the ship. My God is in the trouble with me. My God is in the, listen, when, he, when I'm sick, he's there. He's there. When I'm in trouble, he's there. When I'm in an accident, he's there. When my family got in an accident and my daughter was affected, my wife was affected, my son was affected, God was there. Beloved, what if God wasn't there? David said that if it had not been for the Lord, who is my shepherd, where would we be? The enemy would have destroyed me. What am I saying? I know it's bad. I know it gets difficult. I know you feel like you can't make it through, but what if God wasn't there? How bad would it be? <laughs> Paul says, in Acts 27 and 21, down to 26, the angel of the Lord stood by me and he assured me that we would make it. I love that. As we go on, the text tells us that this one that is I am that I am is my shepherd and he is actively shepherding me. I, I, if I don't leave you with anything, know that whatever's going on in your life, he is shepherding you. When you get off into sin, he is shepherding you. When the prodigal son went down into the far country, he was being shepherded. That's why God allowed him to go out, watch this here, learn a lesson, but he said, I can't leave you out there. He allowed the storm to come and the storm brought him back home. It recovered him. When Peter denied the Lord and got out there, the Lord said, go get the disciples and Peter. I don't care where you go, what you are doing, or who you are doing it with. My shepherd is with me. He walks with me and talks with me. He will never, no, never leave me. I don't care. In the whorehouse, God is there. When we're in the gambling house, God is is there and God won't leave me there. He'll bring me out. He'll call me out. He'll free me from it. God will restore. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. My God came to stay forever. <laughs> I said forever is a long time. That's how long he'll love us. Now, now the text clearly shows us that the Jehovah of the Old Testament <laughs> is the Messiah of the New Testament. Okay. David bridges the gap because he, he was known as the El Shaddai. But, 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 but Jesus says in John 8, I am that I am. Watch this. He says, he says before Moses was, I am. 
Jesus, watch this here, the Jehovah of the Old Testament is the Messiah, Jesus of the New Testament. He is the shepherd. John 10 says the same one, the same word that became flesh is the same good shepherd of my life. He's, he's, he, he's the same. I am the same one that then, I am him now, I will forever be. Uh, and so we find that Jesus Christ is the good shepherd, Sister Mo. He, he is called good because he risks and sacrifices his life for the sheep. Who, who, who do you know going to give up their life for you? Who, who, who do you know? He risked his life. He, he left, my mother-in-law said he left his heaven. Listen, and then it says something about just to tell redemption story. I don't know why he loves me. I don't know why he cares, but I'm glad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he risked and sacrifices his life for the sheep. John 10, 11 and 15 says, I am, he says, I am the good shepherd. I give my life for the sheep. I lay down my life for the sheep. Number two, Jesus Christ is the great shepherd. He is called great because he arose from the dead and he perfects the sheep. Did you hear what I said? He perfects the sheep. Listen, he is perfecting those and sanctifying us. Hebrews talks about it. We, we are being perfected. When we see him, we will be like, behold what manner of love it is that the Father, that we should be called the sons of God. It does not appear what we should. He's making me like him, but we have this hope. He is the hope. So he is the great shepherd because he arose from the dead and perfects the sheep. Hebrews 13, 20 through 21 says, Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep. You see the text? Through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete. Watch this here. In every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And number three, Jesus Christ is the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. Uh, he's the shepherd. He's the bishop of our souls. First Peter uh, he, listen, 2, 24 through 25, listen, he is called the shepherd and bishop because he welcomes those who have wandered off and went astray. It's, all is not lost. If you are his, he will leave the 99 and go get the wandering one. And watch this here. He, he's not ashamed. He celebrates. Not to him, to him that is able to keep us from following, follow, fa falling completely away. Even if we fall, his hand is there to catch us. You ain't going to fall that far to where God can't recover you. God keeps those that he saves, and he only saves those that he can keep. What am I saying here? He is the keeper of my life. I don't care how far you are. The hand of God reaches way out and brings. I don't care how deep you go. He picks me up. 1 Peter 2, 24 through 25 says, He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree that we may cease from sinning and live for righteousness. By his wounds you were healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have turned back to the shepherd and bishop of our or your souls. Number four, Jesus Christ is the chief shepherd. Did you hear what I said? He is called chief because he is re to return to earth with great glory to reward the faithful. Listen, brothers and sisters, there is a reward on the way. There is a reward on the way. 1 Peter 5 and 4 says, And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. The Lord, the Lord, he shows himself in this uh, 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 quadrant or this four-sided uh, 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 phase. And, and my, 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 my um, tech archman said we're running out of time. I see you. I see you. I want to just give us this last few statements real quick before we go. That God... Uh, spares no expense when it comes to his character in the text. He spares no expense. 
Listen, the Lord is Jehovah God, the covenant-making God of Israel. The, the, he, he has the compound names, uh, of, and, 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 and it reflects throughout this psalm. He's, when, 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 when he says, I shall not want, is the Jehovah Jireh, the Lord will provide. We see that in Genesis 22 and 14. When it talks about the still waters, that's Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace in Judges 6.24. When he says he restored my soul, that is Jehovah Rapha, the, the, the Lord who heals. That's Exodus 15, 26. When it talks about the path of righteousness, Jehovah Sitkanu, that he's the Lord, my righteousness. And Jeremiah 33, 16, you are with me, Jehovah Shammah, the Lord is there. Ezekiel 48, 35. He says, and then he says, when he says, in the presence of my enemies, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, our banner. Watch this here. What do I need God for if he's going to get me out of every struggle? Watch this here. Doesn't the victory seem sweeter? Doesn't the blessing seem greater when it's in the presence of my enemies? When I'm in trouble, I need God because, listen, David said, I've always been in trouble. I always need you. Watch this here. We want to get out of trouble, but watch this. Can I see God better in struggle. Uh, one of the mothers of the church said, Lord, don't move my mountain. And I'm glad she said that because a lot of times God may not move it. But she said, give me the strength to climb it. Lord, don't move my stumbling block, but give me the wisdom to go around it. Well, listen, so he is the, my banner and it's thou anointed my head with oil. Jehovah Makadesh, Makadesh, the Lord who sanctifies. Uh, and so we'll stop our text right there. But 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 he 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 spares no expense of, of of pouring out his great character. He is a great God. He is a good God. He is a generous God. We love our God. Hallelujah! Praise you, praise you, Lord. You're so great and kind. Listen, we want to invite you to this God who restores us, who, who rescues us, who releases us <laughs> and lets his favor run down and settle on us. He's a good shepherd. He's a, he's, listen, he, he lays down his life for the sheep. We want to invite you to him. And then we want to invite you to become a member of Church Beyond Walls, Church Beyond Walls. Um, and then we want to ask you, we request that you, if the Lord has led you, listen, if the Lord has led you uh, uh, to sow into this ministry, you can do so a few different ways uh, via our cash app to the dollar sign Church Beyond Walls. You can do so via Venmo at Church Beyond Walls. You can do so via um, PayPal to the number 9515222125, and then you can sow um, via check as long as it is not too flexible. We, we want, we, you can sort of check that lays down and something to back it up, right? And then also you can uh, give uh, actual currency. Um, so we love you. We are praying for you. We will see you again the same time next week. May the Lord richly bless you is our prayer. We ask that you would follow us on social media and you can locate us at www.churchbeyond.org. Um, and uh, you can also give on Givelify. And the address is um, 6065 Clementine Way, Danny, California. And the zip code is 92220. We will see you again this same time next week. May the Lord richly bless you is our prayer.